hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mink and of course this is mink's kinks and today y'all we're actually doing a wash and go i know most of the girls and guys are done with wash and goes for the year but y'all know I, i'm gonna do what i want to do okay and today we're getting into a wintertime wash and go i've never done a wash and go with this product let me show y'all the product today we're going ahead in with none other than the camille rose style setter now listen i did do a review on this i did do a review on this let me tell you two years ago and Miss Mink still has a product. So of course, this is a using up the stash video. I have maybe two uses left. I'll show y'all better once we get into actually dibbling and dabbling into the product. But I just wanted to welcome y'all in. So first things first, hey, my name is Mink. I do natural hair, lifestyle, book, and beauty content. If you're interested in any of those things, definitely go ahead, hit that subscribe button down below. Join our Kinky Crew fam. Of course, we would love to have you. And then definitely make sure to leave me a comment if you are new around here so that I can personally welcome you here. So yeah, y'all, let me tell y'all. I've had this style setter an ungodly amount of time okay let me tell y'all y'all know the stash is crazy and this is one of those products to me that i have been wanting to try once it actually gets cold because it's just like a very thick cream i have tried it as like a braid out styler that's actually primarily how i used it up and it just never had enough hold for me like it just never really did all of that for me so i don't necessarily feel like this is a product that i would repurchase i'm gonna tell y'all that now y'all know i never give y'all that in the beginning but this isn't something that i would necessarily repurchase i find that a lot of the camille rose stylers like the cream stylers are more like moisturizers i have one of my first videos on youtube was with the almond jai and i always use that as a leave-in even though it's like a twist out braid out cream styler type situation y'all know i'm a whole girl and those just never gave me the hold that i need so i'm going to try the same thing here with this um coconut style setter so it claims to be a hydrating cream deluxe of course it is from the coconut water collection which they recently did extend they added a shampoo and conditioner to the line so there's a shampoo conditioner co-wash deep conditioner there's all types of stuff in this collection so this is what the packaging looks like and as promised you guys see i don't have much in here at all i'm actually starting to see the bottom of the pan so hopefully i'll be able to get through most if not all of this so like i said today i'm going to be using this as a leave-in and my styler of choice is actually going to be wet line so i'm pulling out my little baby wet line y'all know i have two of these in my stash and this is the harder holding original wet line formula and i decided to pull that out with this cream styler situation because this is very heavy on the oils and butters and if you have seen my review comparing the old and new wet line the new wet line does not have the same hold as this one and with the style setter having all the butters and oils it's really going to affect the hold so i just opted to go ahead and pull out my hardening holding gel since this is a super moisturizing cream because again seven days only so we're going to go ahead and read the directions. I'll read a couple of the ingredients and then we're just going to go ahead and jump right into the hair. The coconut water style setter combines super hydrating, which we need because it's cooler out, thirst quenching, coconut water, aloe vera juice, tropical butters and oils to deeply penetrate and provide maximum moisture and shine. Sounds very good to me. Um, so it also says that it will display amazing softness, silkiness, and sheen. Kiss goodbye to dry frizzy hair and say hello to girl gorgeous shiny curls. Cool. So there's not a, really a whole lot of claims on here. It's going to provide shine and it's going to moisturize. We let us see it. That's all I'm really looking for. I need a styler on top of this. So, you know. So in the directions, it says the style setter is a unique blend that will hold every style in place. For twist outs, there's a separate set of directions. Personally, I didn't get a whole lot of hold out of this product. So, uh, yeah. Um, there is wash and go instructions. It says to section hair and apply as a leave-in under the curl maker gel for more definition or you could use alone. So, again, I'm going to use it as the leave-in, but I don't have a Camille Rose gel anymore. I did throw away my lavender gel. Um... I had like a decluttering product video so if you haven't seen that I will link that up above but I just had that product for a really long time um so I just needed to throw it away it was starting to change colors and I had never used it like mm -mm. so I'm gonna go ahead and try it this way and we'll see what I'm what I'm thinking all right you guys so this is what the hair is looking like today was a um protein wash day so I will link my um, natural hair regimen playlist up above so that y'all can see what exactly I used. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and section this so that I could go ahead and get started on this wash and go. Because when I tell y'all, it is literally 7 o'clock. And y'all know this wash and go about to take forever to dry because they always do. 
okay you guys so i am back i have applied my oil section my hair did my part we're all good to go so what i'm going to do to apply this um style layer style setter leave-in situation i'm going to just split my section i'll split this section in half some of the sections are bigger than others so i'm just going to split this one in half and my hair is definitely dried out at this point i had to do a good bit of stuff so i am just going to get my hair pretty wet y'all know i like to apply my hair to wet hair so that is what i am doing all right so now i feel like my hair is wet enough and I'm just going to go in with some of this style setter. Um, I'm not really sure how much to use. It's been so long since I've used the product. I'm actually just going to mix it up a little bit in my hand. So actually y'all, I scooted it all to one side and that is about how much I have left. So not a whole lot left at all. Um, I'm going to start with about this much. It's not that much, but I just want to see how the product feels going on. And then of course, if I need more, I can always build more. I don't want to just start out with too much product. And if you have tried the coconut line from Camille Rose, it literally smells like everything else. It's definitely very coconutty, artificial coconut. And because this product is pretty thick, I'm going to apply some more water just to make sure that it sinks in completely. So let me give you guys the first five. It is distilled water, um, coconut oil, castor seed oil, olive oil, bilberry extract, sugar cane, and then there's a lot of other extracts, oils, butters type of thing um, towards the end and bottom of the list. So it's definitely a very moisturizing cream, which is why I'm comfortable pulling this out in the winter time because, you know, I want my hair to be ultra moisturized. So I'm grabbing a bit more just to focus on the ends of my hair um, because, again, it's, it's cold out now. So we got to protect our hair to the best of our ability. And I'm just going to apply this all around my head and we will see what my my final thoughts are because i really was not a fan of this as just like a cream styler like it was just very just okay to me um but y'all can see my curls are definitely becoming a little bit defined but not as defined as i would need from you know a styler so you know we'll see how this works out I want to say this product was about $16 or so. I will have the price listed somewhere on the screen and as well linked down below if you guys are interested in trying or purchasing or anything. Um, but I'm pretty sure it was around $16. Now, um, you know, Black Friday, the holiday sales, all of those things are coming up. So you probably could get it cheaper if you're interested in buying like soon. Spraying my hair down to get my hair pretty much wet. Um, and then I'm just going to go in, apply the product, and I don't have any rhyme or reason to how much of the product I'm using. I just apply until I feel like my hair is thoroughly coated, and that's, that's about it. So, yeah, you guys, I'm just going to go ahead and just, you know, apply this leave-in all across my head just to see you know how it goes but so far my hair does feel you know coated moisturized um you know i could feel the product sitting on there you could tell that it's going to be moisturizing going on which is good because you know this wet line is a hard holding gel so i want to make sure that my hair you know is still thriving under this product and y'all next week i'm actually going to straighten my hair um which i haven't done it's been two years since i last straightened my hair which is absolutely insane so i just wanted to you know have my hair be out and free before i go ahead and you know put heat on it style it all of those things so i am just going to go ahead and do this wash and go i'm not going to do it on camera but i will come back and show you guys what the wet results look like with the wet line on top y'all have seen me do 80 million wash and goes with wet line um a bajillion times like any other wash and go so i'm just going to go ahead finish applying the style setter all over my head i'll come back show you guys what the wet results will look like um because it is a little later i'm gonna air dry until i get tired and then i'm going to sit under my hooded dryer to get it fully dry before i go to bed um but yeah so i'll be back when my hair is fully stopped okay guys so i'm back these are the very very wet results i literally just finished and as you guys can see there's a lot of white sitting on my hair um and i feel like that's just because the product is just so thick 
you know and creamy i did get a bit of clumping on my fingers but i'm just gonna hope for the best on that um you know in hopes that it just dries eventually i did end up using the rest of this so i'm excited y'all know it's it's hard to get rid of a cream styler okay and i'm so excited that this one's finally gone long overdue um so yeah y'all like i said i'm gonna sit under my dryer eventually i'm about to eat but i'm gonna sit under my dryer um you know to let my hair dry i'm gonna let it air dry a little bit i'm about to clip this section up so it's just not dangling in my face child but yeah that is what the wet result that is what the wet result child are looking like so um we'll see you know how this turns out but right now my hair definitely feels heavy um which you know is to be expected it's a heavier cream and then the gel is also pretty heavy so and i'm glad that i did use um the heavier wet line because you could tell i just had to apply a lot more gel because there's so many oils and butters in that um style setter that it was just having a hard time locking on but you know we'll see how this goes um I may have to stretch because it's pretty obvious the back of my hair is shrinking a good bit so y'all can see it stopping you know up here um and then we have of course my longer pieces but we'll see how this turns out um but yeah i'll see you guys once my hair is all dry and stout all right you guys so i don't know if you guys are able to hear it or not but i do have my dishwasher going hopefully you guys aren't able to hear that in the footage but this is what my hair looks like and i'm gonna be honest this is not my favorite wash and go at all um as you guys can see i did stretch it with my bands a little bit and it just it's just mm -mm. so mm -mm. my roots are very puffy like really 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 puffy um and as you guys can see in my more coarse sections it's it's just frizz um but then my ends where my hair is looser is almost like stringy and i don't like y'all see like what is this like the shape is just not not giving i'm just not a fan so as you guys saw i went in with the camille rose coconut water style setter and i used this as my leave-in and then i just of course went in with the wet line extreme now i will say that i'm super glad that i went in with this wet line and not the newer formula because this one just has a little bit more hold to me now as far as this coconut style setter this has never been my favorite product i am glad that it's you know all gone and emptied out but this has never been like a favorite staple product for me a lot of the camille rose um stylers are more like leave-ins moisturizers refresher like once you need like to restyle type of thing those pro these products are better for that in my opinion for my hair um so using this as a leave-in it was cute does it beat out some of my other like thicker heavier shea moisture curl stretch pudding favorites no not for me um i don't know like my hair felt okay it felt moisturized um it didn't feel too too glunky where it wasn't able to like go through my hair the application process was fine it's just not my favorite now as for what my hair feels like now my hair is moisturized but it's not is moisturized as i would hope for it to be especially being that i haven't left my house in three four days do i recommend this product for me personally no i think that there's better curling creams it, it says hydrating cream deluxe i think there's better hydrating creams curl creams curl stylers on the ground that are cheaper than this and have more moisture and in some cases more hold like not gonna hold y'all y'all know one of my favorite creams is the cream of nature pure honey twisting cream i absolutely love that use that as a leave-in a styler was able to one and done it and that was literally probably like a third of what this cost so i i can't say that i recommend this one i've been holding on to this in hopes that i would eventually like it and honestly it never it never did it for me i know a lot of people love the coconut water line but for me this one's a miss so i'm not sure what exactly i'm going to do with my hair for the rest of the week i will say it's not the worst wash and go it's just also not something that i'm really in love with and i hate that because y'all know i'm going to be straightening my hair um in a few days for this next upcoming wash day so i really wanted my wash and go to really you know pop and do what i needed it to do but as you guys can see it's just not it's just not given for me personally like it's just very it's just meh yeah y'all i'm rambling on let me know your thoughts down below on what you think about this wash and go 
um could i have done anything different let me know what your thoughts are and how you used it so yeah you guys that is the end of this video i hope that you guys enjoyed i love you guys so so much i'll see you in my next one bye